Layla's gonna show us how to get our glow on country style. I've owned one cowboy hat in my whole life, and I promise you it was not this cool. This one lights up in the dark. Mm -hmm. I'm here with the founder of Neon Cowboys, Asia Hall. Asia, when I saw these hats online, I had to know your story. Tell me how you came up with this concept. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Um, so I actually used to go to Stagecoach, which is a country music festival out here in California. And I noticed at night the like, lights were really dark and there wasn't much going on. And I figured if you were to look at a neon sign with a cowboy hat in it, you should be able to wear that hat. And now we have neon cowboys. And right. so you went back with your own version. This mm -hmm. is the prototype, right, that you wore the first year. Yes. What was the response when your friends and you were walking around wearing these hats? Yeah, it was crazy. I made uh, like 13 of them, and we all wore them like the following year. And people were, you know, running up to us, asking us where did we get them, like how much they were. Someone offered us $200 for one. Another person tried to like run off with it <laughs> so it was just wild and that was back in 2014 so here we are yeah. nearly seven years later yeah this idea of bringing together uh tech and fashion how did you bring those two worlds together right so i actually grew up in the fashion world my father is a couture designer and he used to be the creative director for halston when i was in high school and then i went to college and did computer science and art so i've kind of just <laughs> that makes sense on how like how can you make this this whole cool concept right, right here and so you explained to me if we look at the hats here we work our way up this sort of tells the story of how the brand has progressed uh what did you learn along the way what changes have you made oh man it, it's been <laughs> yeah the changes are wild um this hat right here actually weighs three pounds whoa um yeah if you pick it up it's like really oh like, yeah i really... want to put this on my <laughs> okay. <real>. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like learning manufacturing, <laughs> learning how to like shave off the weight, learning how to make sure that the light was going to last all weekend, um, getting like the logo to be correct, you know, like that's a sticker. So it really took a lot of iteration and a lot of R&D. Wow. And so when, when you're thinking about how you broke into this space with your own concept, what was that like for you being a woman, not only a woman, but being a, a, a woman who's black and Chinese in a space uh, that you don't see a lot of people who, who look like you? What was that like? Yeah, I think it really started at the festival where I kind of heard people maybe whispering, you know, and counting that, you know, I was one out of many people in the audience. Um, and so I knew that I wanted to wear a cowboy hat, but I wanted something that was maybe kind of embracing the fact that I inevitably stuck out. And so I realized that if I could do something that was a little bit more LA and a little bit more edgy and loud, then it wouldn't be, um, you know, me trying to uh, be a part of a culture that maybe I wasn't the best fit for. I'm not sure. Yeah, but now you have your own brand and your own lane. Yeah, I do absolutely. like that a lot, Asia. Okay, so you've seen your fashion on the runway at Fashion Week. You have seen some major celebrities wearing these hats. Mm -hmm. Missy Elliott and Casey Musgraves. What were yes. those moments like for you? <laughs> Insane. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, they reach out and you're just like, oh, sure. Like, thank you for even knowing that we exist. Um, for Missy, it was incredible because she actually had purchased, I think, like 25 to 30 hats. And wow. she had all of her dancers wear them and do a whole number um, to pass the Dutch for the Essence Award. Yes. And then with Casey, it's her team reached out and they were like, we want to sell it on tour. We want to go, you know, and have these on the website. So she actually sells her own version. Of this hat logo. right here mm -hmm. with, with her logo on it. Yeah. And you don't just have hats. You also have other items. So tell me about right. your other items that you sell. Yes. Yeah, so this is our glow mask. Um, if you hold the button, it actually lights up. Yep. And then it also changes colors if you click it like through 12 settings. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's just like crazy people buy these all the time for like going to the park you know um they also wear it for like their quarantine raves at home or they walk the dog or um yeah it's been a while well i think what you've done is super cool asia and thank you for sharing your brand with us what's your favorite hat by the oh, way this one okay so i have this one because i'm in love with this now and so thank you so much yeah. i'm gonna probably you know get some of these and buy some for the team back at california life so i can be the cool co-worker <laughs> of the month absolutely uh, how do y'all? All right. <laughs>